Alright, I said we were going to have to go back underground. The video cut me off. I've got, I don't know, just a little difficulty uh, with my video record software. Uh, we did that exciting last episode about trees and trees and trees. And uh, while I chopped this tree, I don't know what I did with all the saplings for it. Let's see here. Let's replant this dark oak. There we go. And uh, such, we'll have other trees that are coming along as we come to the end of a day. End of a day of no care to us. Uh, wait for the stars, there they are. Sleep. Alright, yeah, we talked about going underground, the need to, to do that, and, uh, and such, because of the fact that we are going to, uh, that's really where we're going to get any slime and such. I've also been rethinking my, how to do the, um, automated farm, and, uh, the like, and dirt. Grab some of that, I suppose. I don't need. Yeah, I do. In going underground, uh, we're going to spend a lot of time underground. In fact, probably uh, a lot of our movements are going to be underground because of the fact that a lot of the ores and such that you'll want to use are uh, are there and, uh, and such. So, I'm needing to uh, offload a lot of this stuff. I'm going to put that there. So, and, um, we usually have a thing called manufactured products. So I know that these are manufactured products. I used to do another deal of just, as I call it, manufactured products. I don't know. I guess I could go there for now. They're just things that I've made that I need on occasion. Uh, such fence posts and other junk like that. And, uh, such. I'm really not going to do any fishing underground right now or in the immediate future. I don't need snowballs. Oh, I'm just going to just dump a lot of this. I'm going to get more gravel than I know what to do with. Um, I'm going to take some these two chests and make a big chest down there. Downstairs. And, um... Another thing I usually take with me. It's strange. I thought I had a second workbench. Do I really not? I really thought I had two workbenches. Hmm. Now, I need a sheep in here about as badly as I need a sheep in here. Where did he come from? i got to get him out of here. Alright, we're going to get a wheat. There we go. And we're going to draw out the sheep. Because if he eats or tries to eat while he's in there, then he's going to ruin the deal. And I know he may not be able to get in there to begin with. Since he's here, let's go ahead and bring him in. Come on in. Be part of the rest of the sheep. And while I'm here, I guess I can gather all of these people together. Let's go ahead and get some new cows going to I'll do something with this. And then I'm going to uh um I'm going to um finish fencing that up to keep stray animals, I suppose. I guess maybe that's what I need to be worried about. Keep stray animals. So where is that dumb? Sets of fence here, 17 extra. Let's let's do that. Oh, it was fine. Put that up. Okay, so we'll have that. Got plenty of food. I don't need any more of that right now. Let's fix our 
axe. We're gonna hold our axe because we could run into a uh, a uh, an abandoned mine shaft down there, and axing would do a lot to get uh, more fence rail and other stuff. I know we're gonna get tons of that. Uh, I should get an iron. No, that's stone. Iron. Is this it? No. Out of here. There's my iron. Let's make. Let's make a this. There we go. Flint and tender. Just in case I need uh, to set fire to something. No, I don't really have a destructive tendency per se. Um, I need it. anyway. Okay. Workbench. We're gonna need a workbench. And if I go underground without any having any wood, I'm gonna scream. So we're gonna take some wood. And we're gonna take these four pieces of wood too. So workbench really is valuable down there in the bowels of the earth. And uh, because that's what I make, I make. Uh, more pickaxes. I just uh, this is just a running, running selection of pickaxes. Look at that pumpkin's about as far as the eye can see. One other thing I think I want to do. I want to do an experiment. I could look this up on the wiki, but I don't feel like doing it. I'd rather do it this way. Take a gravel. Thank you. Take a sand. Digging underwater. I want to experiment with whether or not pumpkins will treat uh, a sand and a gravel as an acceptable. Someone should say, oh, look it up. You know you can't. I don't care. Let's do it the long way, hard way. That's how easy to work. It? And uh, so what are we going to do here? We're going to, uh, I know that this plant produces because it just produced that one. We're going to do that out. We're going to put that in. And uh, this plant produces because it just produced one. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put that in. Alright, let's find out whether... I, I don't think they will grow on concrete. So let's find out whether they will grow on... Um, sand or gravel. Look at there, that one's already come back. Kawamba. Let's go downstairs before I get distracted some more. Just like this... This kid just never can stay focused here. Uh, what's down below for us? Well, certainly more diamonds are, are down below. But another thing, remember we, we spent those boring videos traveling the world looking for slime. And looking particularly for um, um, a swamp biome where slime would generally um, spawn. But we had no success. Ah, there. So what we're going to do is slimes can also spawn underground, and you can also hear them banging around. Bop, 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 bop. Remember this? This is where we found our diamonds after diamonds after diamonds. And uh, look at that. You know what all that is? That's obsidian. That's what that is. What I want to do is I'm going to mine this place out for a little bit, get all the resources, but uh, then we're going to continue on and uh, doing some more mining here. And I'm not sure, I don't know as of yet if I want to stop the video or give you every single exciting moment of coal mining. Because <laughs> uh, it's just not that exciting, is it? No, it's not. You just chew through. But, I mean, all my levels right now, and that's another thing we're going to have to deal with is... Um, while we talk about banishing the night, uh, we are also losing an ability to make levels. So I talked before about maybe uh, going to the nether, finding a nether fortress, and building a... Um, building a... blaze farm. Oh, I heard a skeleton. I heard one. A uh, blaze farm, when you kill a blaze, you get basically, I think it's like twice as much experience. And plus, you're getting... Hey, there's a light up there. Where's that place? Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, you get twice as much experience. Plus, with the blaze rods, 
Blaze rods are a source of fuel, so you're like <laughs> mining. It's like mining coal because of the fuel source from the blaze rods, but but uh, you're getting twice as much experience killing the blazes, the blaze mob, and uh, and such. So that's got a, that's a benefit. All right, what have I got? This was the way, yeah, because I went up this way. Right, right. Did I see anything else up there? No, I don't remember. Let's see if I saw anything else up here. I don't think that I did. But let me remind myself. Oh, oh, another cavern. Let's light her up. And see what we get. Now, take a look here. See the X Y Z over there. I'm at 23. So again, I know that I'm out of a diamond country. Let's light up. Let's see if I can't ease over here. Light that place up. So I'm out of diamond country, and I know that I am out of diamond country. Spider wants to chat with me. There we go. So we've just talked. He's wanting to talk. So we've chatted together. Um, but being out of diamond country, well, we might even be able to descend back into it. I get shot, that's for sure. By this yo-yo. Yep. 17, so we're just right at, oh, and look at this. We knew there'd have to be one of them around, wouldn't we? Yeah, they just can't, can't leave well enough alone. Um, okay, so back down here in the 15 level, we're back in the Diamond. I wouldn't call this in the heart of Diamond Country, but I will say that we, we have an opportunity to see some Diamond laying around. There we go. I'm going to go on down. Now we're back down here at 13. A lot of people actually mine around level 13. And you see, we've got lapis and we've got redstone and other type of things there. And I really wish I had brought the rest of that fencing with me. I do. I'll stick this in here just to see what the issue is. This is just kind of an interesting stair step. I thought for a minute I might be back in one of those mine shafts I talked about. And look, another emerald. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why I wanted another. What am I going to do? Quick decision. Boom. 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 Four of those means. There. There. Just three of that. They say, what is going on with the fencing? And I'll show you what's going on. I like lava. I can use lava for a lot of things. Uh, lava lakes like that, I turn into obsidian. But sometimes just those individual lavas, I have other plans for. So that's... I'll just leave that as a light source and maybe come back to use that. Might as well pull this lapis. Because this is Minecraft 1.8. And lapis is no longer just a pretty face. It is a necessary ingredient in. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. Because I could. If there's like lava on the other side of that. No, there wouldn't probably be. But anyway, I'm not going to do that anyway. Because I'd be stuck. Couldn't get out. So we'll mine this block from up there. I mean, nothing. And, uh, what will I do here? Again, I'm going to save this water. When I'm underground, I really try to conserve a lot of things. Lava, water, and such. Because it's kind of a pain to go back up to get some of that stuff. And, uh, and such. If I already have it down here, i just got to get back to wherever it's at. At level 17, I'm out of back out of diamond country again. So I know there won't be too much there. But I'll light stuff like this up. And come back and maybe it'll help to stem the spawning of monsters if I do come back this way later on for one thing or another. More emerald. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a total expert on 1.8 at all, but uh, I'm seeing too much emerald to not think that they've made some sort of some sort of changes in, uh, in the 1.8 code. Again, I got water here. So instead of blocking the water 
uh, what I can do is I use like right there I use a fence post. So I know that if oh man I need some water, I look up and I go oh there's a water source block, and uh, just work that up. Do that again right there. It's helpful. And, uh, put a light there to see what's going on. He's down here, back down at level 12, so I'm back down in. Possibility for just diamonds studding the walls, as it were. But to last nothing, ooh, a cavern up there. The monsters surely, surely would want to uh, fall out of that area. Let me see what I can do here. subject. See something up there. Um, but let's go ahead and get this iron. And let's go ahead and get this iron and finish this video up here with us back down in the depths of our Minecraft world. Mining the various ores and really kind of prepping ourselves, getting ourselves set up, readied to um, do some nether work for a little while to uh, get going. And part of nether work, you know, this may be a good time. We'll end this video right here. And then I'm going to show you some mining technique. A little bit of mining technique, anyway. Um, it's not going to be very fun because of the fact I haven't got a. Damn. Again, I'm, I'm conserving those water blocks. If I should need them, I'll go, what is that? Open it up, the water pour out of my head. I'll go, okay, that's what that is. I wouldn't do that with lava, because <laughs> the lava falls on my head. That's not helpful. But uh, let's, uh, let's end the video here, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you a little bit of kind of a, an easy, and I call it basically relatively safe way of mining.